this is going to be uh, Mamba Operation Bleed Out. I think it's mission 18 or 19, I'm not sure. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show how I build the mission from the ground up. This is going to be probably one of the only videos where I actually cover this section because it's really just rinse and repeat the whole way through. So my mission is going to be an MCC based mission uh, with some pre, uh, pre placed stuff in the editor. But uh, first off, I'm going to need to go grab MCC so that I have the latest uh, mission template here. I'm going to go here onto the uh, BIS. I normally always grab it from BIS. I'm sure it's probably the same on Armaholic, but I always come here and grab this link here for the MP version for Altus. I don't use the mod version in our clan, so that's why we're getting this one. You can use the mod version if you want, though. Now that we got that, see this PBO, we can't really do much with it um, besides running as a mission uh, just by throwing it in your MP missions folder, and you'll have access to your basic MCC mission. But uh, for my purposes, I need a little bit more custom. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is dpbo the actual file here. Now you can use Eliteness or PBO Manager or anything you want, anything that can dpbo. And I'll throw some links on the video description for that. But um, there, once we dpbo it, all we're going to do is come into this folder here with all the files, and this is everything that we need to throw in a new mission. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy with Control C all that stuff. And then here's the shortcut I created on my desktop for the missions folder here. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new mission. Now you can create this in editor uh, if you want and then just paste the files after the fact. And that'll work too. Uh, the reason I'm doing it here is because once I pull up uh, Arma in the editor, um, <laughs> OBS doesn't seem to like it. I don't know if I got a bad setting or what, but I got to use switch recording tools for that one. So I will show you this stuff in editor, but it's going to be in a little bit. So um, just to round this, this particular section out, um, what we're going to do is go into the description. Now, for the picture, I actually have my own loading screen that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to snake. Oops. Snake loading screen. JP. Same thing here. If I could type at all. <laughs> at all well. Anyway, there we go. Um, now we're going to go grab that. Let's see if I remember correctly, the proper image is going to actually be in my um, real folder here. Yep, there she is. Just that guy there. So we're going to grab him. And I may actually show you the building of this loading screen later on. Um, this isn't going to be the one that I'm going to use, but this is an example of me taking something that I've built and, and putting it over top of the um, one that comes with MCC, just so you know how to do it. Um, it's right here, the load screen. I've already changed it. And then uh, we got the description text. This is where you're going to put whatever you want, really. Sometimes I'll just put uh, Task Force Mamba, it whips the llama's ass, but... <laughs> For, for my more serious missions, I'm going to put the mission description here. Now, I don't have it built at this point in time, so for now, I'm just going to leave it blank. And uh, give myself a little reminder there not to uh, forget that. Although, if you see that in the mission uh, stream, then you know that I completely derped out and didn't change it. So, there's that. Now, for the author, I am going to actually add my name on here. Plus M loop MCC, but I'm not taking their name off there. All right, now do, 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 do. I think that's good to go. You see, I don't believe there's anything else I need to do now. For Task Force Mamba, there is actually a few different things I need to do, and I'll go ahead and show you that. I guess that'll work. Um, we have this VAS script, which really isn't anything special. VAS will actually do this functionality on its own, but I um, added a little bit to it where... Um, let me grab the file real quick. Right, as you can see here, I'm just going to control see that. Um, the really only thing that I did was took out the part where the code basically says stop if VAS hasn't finished loading, and you know, replaced it with a hint that pops up and it allows VAS to continue on. Now, like I said, VAS, unless they took this out because I haven't checked, actually does this on its own. Um, it's like a config setting. Um, but my problem with that was a lot of people were not understanding that 
Vast was loading in the background. Let me see if it is on here. Yeah, right there. It's actually disable safety check. Um, wouldn't just let you load in. But um, my problem, like I said, with that was people weren't understanding that Vast was still loading in the background, so they'd complain a lot about FPS lag when they're trying to use Vast, not, not understanding that it was still loading things in the background. So by adding this hint here, I feel like it has, has fixed that for us anyway. Um, but like I said, you really don't need to edit anything to have Vast do it on its own. Just that safety check right there setting will do it for you. But um, this is the way that we do it. This is the way that we're accustomed to it. So I'm just going to throw that in here for this. So that's Vast, you know, done for the mission. Um, let me see here. Oop, too far back. I think that's it. I mean, I think we do a few different changes in this. Revive Guarantee True, Rambo Factor. Actually, is a bit of a difference, if I recall. To one of those values at least. Lifetime factors 80. Rambo factor 4. <laughs> I guess I'll leave that there. That works. Uh, I think that's it. So we're good to go. That's pretty much all that I do in terms of uh, editing for the, the standard mission. It's just uh, a little bit of changes in the AIS config and load up VAS so that it works. Whoops, wrong freaking file. Um, oh, I had that at 4. Oh, wow, I suck. I didn't even save that. <laughs> Here we go. And then, yep, that's it. Uh, now we're going to actually move on to the in-game portion of it. Uh, the editor stuff and whatnot. So, all right, we're good to go. Um, the only thing really different that we do um, from here, and this is for us, and it's not really, I don't think, relevant anymore. But um, uh, oh, why'd you load? <laughs> Derp. Need that. Um, throw that sucker right there. So we'll actually install IG load. I completely derped out there. But um, this is the stuff I was talking about. This really isn't really relevant anymore. There's a module. I've never actually used it before, but I pulled it up and uh, for this mission I'm actually going to switch over to that and see how that works for us uh, this time around instead of just putting it in the uh, init file, although I'm sure it's it's got to be exactly the same effect. So um, now that I awesomely forgot to include IG load, let's go ahead and, uh, or IG load, sorry. Let's go ahead and actually grab that. So let's grab that guy there, pull him over, Making sure that's there, and do, 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 do. that's it, pretty much. Um, so now we're all set up for our mission. All right, so picking up right where we left off, we're just gonna go into the editor here. Let's see, there's our mission that we created. And the folder, you can see it's got all the default MCC slots down. Now, I actually don't need these for my mission, and I have a template mission set up. Um, that's going to give me all the slots that I want. But we're not going to load that up just yet. I'm going to do a few things here. So just go through and delete all these slots here. Um, I wish there was a faster way to do this, but unfortunately, you just got to spam that delete key until everything dies. Yep, just spam delete until it all dies. And, or you get to system 32. Either, either way, either thing works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case anything bad happens here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit quick preview on that. You can see all the uh, stuff that we changed there is, is actually showing up in game now with the quick logo, the name, the author, and the change of this asshole text that I <laughs> put there. So I'm just gonna let everything load up. Log in MCC here. Alright, so I've already sort of scouted out where I want the mission to go down. Um, oh, lag. Okay, so. so I, find it. I think it's right there. Yep, this is where I want the. Uh, 
our guys to start out at. Now this mission, um, I don't know if you've watched any of our previous videos, but um, our last mission we were overrun from our default starting location uh, that we've been using for a while, which was the uh, airport terminal here. We actually got um, completely just had to evacuate that, and uh, she's had to taken that over. And then we made our way to the AAC airfield here, uh, got some choppers and got out, but unfortunately we weren't able to get everybody out. So because of that, Spartan One, I believe, was actually left and uh, left back there during the last mission. So we're going to use that in this mission, um, and they're going to have to go out and actually get Spartan One uh, back to this little base that we've set up here. But uh, we're sort of continuing the um, sort of atmosphere of the last mission, which is that. Uh, we know we don't have VAS uh, in this mission. Uh, we don't have a lot of our supplies. We don't have vehicles. Everything that we're going to have is going to be acquire on site. So if we're going to have a vehicle, it's going to be an enemy vehicle that we've taken and secured. And um, that's really going to be our theme rolling forward on the op nights is that we're no longer just infinitely getting vehicles. If you lose a vehicle in the field, it's not being respawned. You lost it. It's over. Um, just keeping up with that realism and kind of a nihilism sort of feel uh, of my missions. Uh, rolling forward from here so my plan is for this and uh, I'm telling you the plan because I can't actually show you the spawning of most things because I'm going to be doing it during a meeting so I'm gonna have like a lot of cross here from you know upper echelon and TFM and stuff and I can't have that recorded um, obviously <laughs> don't want our inner clan stuff uh, coming out but um, I can show you the basic plot for the mission which is um, can actually be a night mission not too sure exactly what the time is going to be, but uh, throw that up there. I like that. Normally in December it's pretty, pretty freaking dark. So uh, <laughs> a little bit too dark, I think, on that one. Uh, not much better. Yeah, I'll have to play around with the daylight settings, but um Definitely. Definitely gonna have to play with those daylight settings. <laughs> this is normally pretty decent. I guess not. I know it's like right around this area that it gets bright. Unless this is just going to be derpy for me today. Huh. Let's see here. Is it even... I feel like it's not even changing. Let's see here. 8 o'clock. Oh, God, it's changing. <laughs> All right, so... There you go. You get to see me being a derp, so... I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> roll this back a little bit. Oh, that's as good as we get. That's as good as we get for now. It's kind of irrelevant. Like I said, I'll, I'll be changing the mission probably with Zeus uh, as far as time goes. But um, yeah, so you're gonna kind of yeah, sorry about that. You're gonna kind of get the feel for the mission. It's gonna be night. Um, we're gonna start here um, with some supply boxes. Nothing much. Uh, one of the Mohawks that we took out will be here uh, under covered. Um, and then um, the other guys are gonna be kind of scattered out here. We're gonna have Spartan One sort of lost out here and uh, you know the enemy patrols are going to be searching for us so that's going to give us another element to have to combat against so basically the mission tonight is going to be that we're uh, recovering from the uh, ass kicking we just got from the CSAT and uh, if you haven't seen those videos I suggest you go over and see those, that was a pretty intense op, I'm not sure if uh, we actually got anybody to record the entire thing but um, I know there's at least one or two twitch things out there somewhere um, either way uh, we're going to start from there with very limited supplies. We're not going to have any vehicles except for the Mohawk um, that we had, which we're going to have under a camo net or something. Um, the CSAT are going to be out here. Just You're going to see helicopters flying by with lights on, um, search parameter, just, just searching for our guys. We're going to have enemy troops combing through, looking for them. And we're going to have our guys out here with, you know, not really any radios. I'll probably give them a little something, maybe with like a loadout editor. I'll, uh, switch them around so they, they have some way of contacting us but um that's uh that's the mission tonight we're going to reconsolidate you know reconsolidate our base where we're all spread out um spartan one um 
is actually going to be in a downed Mohawk. It's going to have crash landed and they're going to be scattered out. Um, here, there's not a lot of members in Spartan 1, so that'll be an interesting mission. Uh, we're going to go, like I said, secure them. The idea is to bring them back to here, bring back any vehicles that we encounter. Um, and basically, that's how the mission is going to go tonight. Uh, whatever we secure out here in the field, we'll carry over to the next mission. And if we lose all of our vehicles and assets, well, that's going to be something that also translates in the next mission. So it should be interesting. I'll uh, I'll make a recording as the mission actually goes on uh, from my angle of the mission maker perspective. And uh, I'm sure the guys will have their infantry level perspectives of the mission. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a cool mission. Otherwise, um, otherwise I just suck. So. Um, now you sort of see how this is going to go from the, this is the idea of the mission standpoint. Um, the other last thing I really wanted to show you, which is just going to be um, a demonstration really, because I'm actually not going to use this in the final mission uh, format. Is, what am I doing? Why am I underneath? <laughs> I think it's AF that has the freaking mohawk. Yep. Alright. So, yeah, that's awesome. SR is completely awesome. Okay. I think you're really... <laughs> Not uh, the best location to put that. Anyway, it's irrelevant. Uh, like I said, this isn't going to be used in the final version. This is just something I wanted to show for the last part of how I would make my mission. But um, so there's our mohawk. I'm um, sitting right there. Now we're actually going to get out of these. And uh, this is what I've been doing lately for making missions. So I'll go down to MCC after I place everything in Zeus or MCC after I set everything up. Um. I'll go to the load and save, and I'll actually save it as an SQM file. Right, so after you get that text, it tells you that you saved, saved everything. everything. Oh god! I click onto the clipboard. You're gonna go into your mission folder here, and just Control A, select everything, and then just Control V to paste everything, and then Control S to save it all. Um, you can use Notepad, by the way. I didn't mention this, but I'm using Notepad plus plus. You can use Notepad or whatever text editor you want. It's it's not really re relevant. And after that's done. We're going to shift back into Armlinger. Going to reload our mission. Alright, so now you can see we got the mission uh, with the Mohawk here and uh, the squad here. Check rounds. I don't think we need you, Mr. Ground. Get him out of there. That's something that MCC put there. I'll just leave it there. I don't believe that it's relevant, but you never know. Uh, the other thing is uh, really quick is going to actually be sometimes it'll save the icons on the map. So you're going to get rid of that. And that. And I don't know if you caught it or not, but there was actually a yellow triangle indicating where my position was that I also deleted um, before I deleted the ASL. Um, I meant to delete the ASL first and then the, the yellow triangle, but it didn't happen that way, so you're just going to want to get rid of that. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of this guy. And then there you go, there's my mission. I only spawned a mohawk, um, just to show you how this works. Um, now, the last thing that I do, once I've theoretically already set up my mission, is I go into merge here. And uh, Mama Sandbox is actually the mission that has all of my uh, things pre-spawned, so I'm going to merge that in. So now you see over here I've got my base set up and I've got a chopper which I idiotically spawned over here <laughs> and uh, more of these guys which again for this mission I don't have any out for slots so there's no reason to have this here. Um, go ahead and delete all those guys. But yeah there you go and now that's now I could t typically save this mission and I'd roll out now because like I said this mission we're not starting here this is no longer our starting location. Um, this isn't quite relevant. I'll have to move these things around, delete these things, and I'm actually going to make a CSAT base here and a CSAT base um, at the AEC airfield as well, um, which will open up an opportunity here for us to capture vehicles if we so choose while we're looking for our guys out here. Um, I don't really expect us to invade this area. We'll probably never come near it. <laughs> uh, this is going to be the base of which all the helicopters and all their air assets are going to actually deploy from. Um, I'm not really a big fan of just spawning things in thin air in a mission, although I do do it. It does happen, but I like to have a base of operations to move things out as far as vehicles and armored. Um, guys, sometimes I'll just spawn guys behind a hill, but for the big assets, I like them to actually come from somewhere. So if the guys really wanted to be, uh, you know, pro-tip about it, 
They could come over and they just blow this base up, and then they wouldn't have to worry about any air assets coming after them. Um, the last thing, the very last thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is that this right here, this game logic, I found this on um, an Arma thread, and I'll post a link to the thread as well in the video description. Um, th this here, what it does is it actually makes all the players uh, and, and pre-placed editor objects pop up on Zeus. Um, and it's like every 30 seconds, I think I put it at, every 30 seconds it'll update um, all playable units to Zeus so that when people respawn, um, they'll show up underneath there. Now I know there's there's a better way to do it, I know that there is. Um, I just haven't dug into it myself. I just kind of lazily took this that I saw somebody else come up with and just post it there. Like I said, I'll give you a link to that thread so you can use that code yourself uh, in your missions, but you just place that down as the game logic and you just roll out with it. Um, the only other thing you see here is Lifter. We use Lifter and Iggy Load in all of our missions, so nothing really new for that. Um, oh, I almost forgot the the actually last of the last things is uh, that TFR module that I was talking about earlier. Get out of here. All right, so there you go. For this, I don't think we really need to do anything too too much. Uh, give team leaders we normally just select no no on this. Um, try again, exception. Leave this team speak channel name. Just leave that blank because we don't normally use that particular setup. Same short wave frequencies. We throw that on yes, and same frequencies yes. Uh, that's basically our setup there. I mean, it's gonna be different for you guys um, who use other things from other clans and whatnot, but that's how we roll. I don't believe that I need to actually set up any of the rest of this stuff, unless I want to change it from what they already defaultly have. So. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. I believe that's all I need. Um, if I'm wrong, <laughs> let me know and I'll put a little annotation on the screen or something to fix that. But um, As far as making just a bare bones template that you're ready to work with, uh, this is pretty much all set up. Now we can go in game with MCC, start spawning things, you know, get some players in the server, have an awesome mission. Uh, any comments, any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to address them below. Thanks for watching and I hope this was at least somewhat helpful with my uh, with my ranting catch you next time